Hi, so in this video we're going to be looking at implicit differentiation. That's when we differentiate an implicit function. So first we need to know what an implicit function is. Previously you've dealt with explicit functions where the x and y's can easily be separated so that you get y is a function of x. So y equals some function of x. In an implicit function, the x and y's are tangled up, and so you cannot easily just make y equal the function x, and often uh, the y is of a higher power. Okay, so to differentiate an implicit function, we differentiate the whole equation with respect to x, and when we come across a y term, which we want to differentiate with respect to x, we actually differentiate with respect to y and multiply by dy by dx. So what does that mean? We want to differentiate our y term with respect to x. To do this, we differentiate with respect to y. And then we multiply by dy by dx. Um, so if I had my y term was y cubed, and I wanted to differentiate with respect to y, I would do the same as I had with x cubed. I would multiply by the power and take 1 from the power. So I would get 3y squared. And then I've just multiplied by dy by dx. And the reason I do this, because if you look here and I cross cancel, I just get left with my d, d of f of y by dx, as you would have wanted. OK, so you've done the same thing. It's sort of like using the chain rule. OK, so here's an example. We just go term by term, differentiating with respect to x. So x squared becomes 2x, multiply by the power, take 1 from the power. y squared, we differentiate with respect to y, and so that becomes 2y. But because we differentiated with respect to y, and we should have differentiated with respect to x, we multiply it by this dy by dx to make it right. Then we just do a bit of sorting out and we get dy by dx equals minus x over y, making dy by dx a subject of our equation. Okay, slightly harder example uh, where we're going to use the product rule. If you remember the product rule, to get two uh, functions multiplied by together, you leave the first alone, differentiate the second, leave the second alone, differentiate the first. Okay, so we go step by step. I want to differentiate each term with respect to x. So I start with my y. I have to differentiate that with respect to y, and that will become 1. Um, and then because I wanted it with respect to x, I multiply by the dy by dx. Then I have this, and so I'm going to need to use the product uh, rule. So I leave the first alone, differentiate the second. So y squared becomes 2y when you differentiate with respect to y, and then you make your adjustments, so you diff times it by dy by dx. Then you leave the second term alone and differentiate the first, and x differentiates to 1. And then finally, the last term, the plus 3, the constant differentiates to 0. So then what I want to do is get this um, rearranged as make dy by dx um, the subject of the equation. And hopefully you can do that. What I've done is I've taken all of this over to this side, leaving the y squared on that side, and then I diff uh, sorry, then I um, divide by the 1 minus 2xy. Hopefully you can see that. OK, so another example, a sort of example that you might be asked in an exam. <coughs> we have the same thing, but we want to find the gradient at a given point. So it just adds another step at the bottom. OK, so we're going to differentiate this thing here, which, as you can see, we're going to need implicit differentiation. Um, and we go term by term. So differentiating with respect to x. So 3x squared becomes 9, sorry, 3x cubed becomes 9x squared. Multiply by the power, take 1 from the power. Then this minus xy squared, we're going to have to use the product rule. So leave the first alone, differentiate the second, and that's all the differentiating the second. Leave the second alone and differentiate the first. And when you differentiate x, you just get 1. Then we want to differentiate 3y. So that just becomes 3, and then you have to multiply by dy by dx. And what I find is my students do all this really horrible, complicated bit here and get that right, and then forget the dy by dx on the simple thing. So don't forget, every time you're differentiating the y term, you're going to need the extra dy by dx. So then you do a bit of shenanigans and messing around, and you end up with your dy by dx term. So it looks like this. Not 
particularly nice, but that's how it comes out. Hopefully you can do that on your own. You can pause and just sort of scribble it down and make sure I've got the right answer or you've got the right answer. And then we just substitute our x equals 1 and our y equals 2 into this. And it gives us the gradient. OK, I hope that's helpful. Um, you might need to go back and spend a little time um, on some of the slides just to make sure you understand it. But the key thing is you go term by term. And when you have a y term, you differentiate with respect to y. And then remember to multiply by dy by dx. OK, see you soon.